Look who's home. Mm -hmm. We tired. missed you. I'm home. You've been time. home. I had a good time. The, the, like, the concert was amazing. Like, he already opened one of his father's gifts. I did. Yeah. It was my grooming kit that made my beard short. And my hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because you wanted it, and then I was gonna buy it for you. I bought it for you for Father's Day, and then you're like, Amy, next time you go to Costco, will you buy that? And I was like, Dang it, I already bought it. So here you go. All right. So this is Father's Day on Saturday. Yes, and I think you've already seen one of the items in there. Oh really? Okay, here I go. Maybe. Hold here on, I go. Blurry. Okay. Wait, how much items are there? This is what I've been wanting for a while. Mine. Oh, okay. Well, I got another one. Don't worry. I get it. <laughs> there's another one. And this one's mine. <laughs> nice. This is the one that I wanted from Costco. Yes. Did you not see it in the closet? No, I didn't. Because it was like out in the I open. Did. And I, I don't didn't. know how it was but out in the open. Where's the sunglasses holder? The, 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 these right here. It's new sunglasses. river hats. You got a new river hat. Yeah. Sweet. Oh no. Okay. That's and not good. Go right right. Well, my sunglasses are in Dallas right now, though. Yes. Well, we have to go back up there and pick them up next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cool. Thanks. Uh, what? <laughs> Looks like we're going to be going to the Astros game. When? Tomorrow on Father's Day. Yes, but it's a late Sweet. game. I was yeah. not happy about that. Usually Sundays Why? are like one or three because Daddy has to work on Monday. What time? What time's it? Seven. Well, this says one ten. It does. It says one ten on here. Oh well, nice. Why did it say? I don't know. On here it says uh, one ten p.m. Oh well, sweet. We might want to look it up and make sure. Yes, because somewhere <laughs> I else I thought it said seven. It's seven, and we have to kill six hours downtown. <laughs> right. Well, that's good. If it's well, at one ten. That's awesome. Yeah, so happy Father's Thank Day. Thank you so much. Brian just got that. Um, the reason that you got to open that today was because in our one take, somebody might have kind of gave it away that we're going. I wanted to give you your gifts early. Oh, yeah, that's why. So <laughs> if you would have edited the one take yeah, or whatever, then you yeah. would have seen it. I mean, he didn't say it, but it was very okay, well, I'll very find out if you missed apparent. That right now. I'm, I'm like, dude. <laughs> Very cool. So, Thank you so much. And we had to do the one take a few times. So we didn't want to have to redo it again. <laughs> Happy Father's Day Father's to the best Day. father ever. Okay, so what's it say on that schedule? So I'm looking on ESPN schedules. And it shows Sunday, June 18th, all the baseball schedule. And it shows Boston at Houston at 7 p.m. It's See? David Price versus Joe Musgrove. So, so why is it say... ESPN, so maybe it was that time. And then with ESPN picked changed. it up and it changed the time. Uh, so we need to find out for sure, though. Yes. Or should we just be there at 110 just again? <laughs> we need to. So here is how the all-star cake turned out, guys. I think I went a little overboard. <laughs> this cake took me a while, but I think it turned out really cute. It has all the kids' names on them. The stars look like they're dirty, just to kind of match the rest of the cake. A little rustic looking. What do you guys think? I'm not sure if I showed you guys the finished cookies, but here they are. I already wrapped them up and stuff. But I really like how the hats turned out because it looks just like they're all-star hats. Super cute. Once again, they have this big pool to swim in and all they want to do is play baseball. I don't think I'm standing in a very good spot. They're so funny. Strike one. <laughs> Braden's the official umpire.
to take your base. Everybody else wants to bat too. Take your base. You can't hog the bat. Did it feel good to win the championship? Yeah. And so we're adding a little bit of a trophy and a picture for you guys to take home and remember everything you guys accomplished. I think you guys did a really good job. You deserved it. Coaches pushed you extremely hard. And I think you guys did a tremendous job responding to the coaching and delivering in the tournament. So great job. We'll go one by one, okay? So Xander, I called him our utility knife because he played in the most positions of the team. And guess why coaches felt comfortable putting him in the positions? Because he was smart. He has a high baseball IQ. And the other thing is, I know he loves playing catch. We had him there. But we put him in right field? No questions. Put him in left field? No questions. Put him in left center? No questions. And he always made plays. And he also, although he didn't hit the ball always hard, what did he do? Hit the ball and did what? Ran the first. Extremely fast. Extremely proud of the play. Xander almost has a pull to himself. <laughs> awesome, dude. Good job. So we need to add Xander's third trophy of this season to the top of his desk. But I wanted to show you guys how a coach put 2017 undefeated champions. He had to add undefeated. Is that funny? I think you have enough trophies, dude. Let's see, this one is from this season. This one is from this season. And this one. And, oh yeah, and that one. Three trophies in one season, dude. That's a little bit much, huh? Do you have fun? Yeah. Do you have fun? Yes. Lila, do you have fun? Oh, you didn't go. She's starving. She's There's no hay starving. in here. There's no food in here, and she thinks that she is starving. Always. So we need to put some hay in for her first. Would you like some hay? Hey, would you like some hay? <laughs> hey, you. Hey. She's got plenty of hay on the floor. Xander, you need to mess. you need to vacuum up your floor tomorrow, dude. You want this? Here, are you hungry? You need a little something to hold you over? Here you go. Mom, did you pull the Astro Stadium? No, the game's at seven. How do you know? Because it showed it on TV today. They it was originally at one, but they changed it. It's on national TV. Hey guys, maybe you'll see us at the game. Oh yeah. It's on national TV. It's on ESPN. Hey guys, what Xander? Aiden will be at the game too. Aiden doesn't know because <laughs> Christy bought tickets while we're at the party for Aiden and Chad to go tomorrow. Because you heard that door? Yeah. Like idea. Yeah, and uh, I guess that's where Chad is from, is from Boston. Yeah, yeah that's so, their, their family's from Boston. Yeah, and that's who we're playing is the Boston Red Sox. So we're going to meet up. Yeah, well, we're not sitting next to each other. They're below us. They get better seats than we did. But she only had to buy two, and we had to buy four. But we're going to meet up before the game and, like, catch practice balls and stuff. Sound good? Sounds awesome. I think she's happy. You want to go to sleep? You're tired from all that swimming, huh? Mm. Nino, is you happy now? He's like, shut up, leave me alone, I'm eating. Yeah, she was starving. She had uh, thrown a little temper tantrum and her food bowl was thrown out here. Oh yeah, she gets mad. So that was fun. The, the baseball party, uh, we got to find out some information that we'll give you guys eventually. But right now, um, I just wanted to say that the Metallica concert was amazing. I really haven't talked about it too much today. Uh, the seats that my, my buddy got were freaking phenomenal. Uh, we had a suite right behind, right kind of like down to the side of the stage. And then we had really good seats that were right like at a good angle, like looking down at the stage. But before that, before the, the, the band came out, we all, I could also walk out onto the floor and I should have just stayed out there, but I didn't. Uh, I could have had some really amazing shots, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the footage that I got so you can see like, what our suite looked like, what the uh, the angle was that we had. You can see all the people that were there. It was a, it was a, pretty much a sellout. I'm pretty sure there was at least 80,000 tickets sold at least at the Dallas Stadium. Um, and also we had, the, we had really good parking. So for all of you that don't know, the Dallas Cowboys and the AT&T Stadium, they charge $50 to park in their parking lots around the stadium. And if you, if you want to park cheaper, I think they said it was like $30, but it's just like a mile walk and it's $30.
So we got tickets, we got our parking spot right next to the door. Like we had to go to this little checkpoint. We pulled up, went to a checkpoint. They had to look into the trunk and everything. And then there was a van parked by a gate and the van backed up out of the way so that you could pull through and get even closer. And we went up over there and parked. It was pretty cool. So here's those the, the, the video clips that I was telling you about. I'm gonna put them in right now. done in your life, who you voted for, what you do or don't eat. We don't give a shit what color you are. We don't give a shit about any of that stuff. The stuff we care about is the stuff we connect on right here. The cure here together, celebrating life, live television show, baby. Pretty cool, huh? It was fun. I had a, like I said, great time. I wish I could have used the audio, but of course you guys know there's copyright issues and Metallica, Lars, the drummer, is pretty pretty hard about going after people with copyright, so I didn't use any of the music there. Uh, I just did some overlay. Um, the question of the day. Um, I was just trying to think of what I was going to give you guys because what's what we're supposed to do now? We give you guys a question of the day and you guys can comment back and let us know what, what your thoughts on the question was. My question is going to be, did you ever win a, it's kind of a two part. Have you ever won any trophies? If so, how many? And what's your favorite trophy that you've received? Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button if you've never done it before. You wanna also smash the thumbs up. We'll see you guys and gals tomorrow.